The Turk stream is operation. Why Prime Minister Borisov is so tense? It's rather amusing to, to watch him attend the launching ceremony of the Turk stream <coughs> in Istanbul today, insisting that his favorite project, Balkan stream, has nothing to do with the original. The Turk stream has, uh, was agreed and invested by President Putin, and President Erdogan decided to play along. Putin and Gazprom have always played the propaganda adage that uh, they have finally realized the South Stream plan. This is yet somewhat questionable, far being a fact, but politicians always have their day. South Stream had a 33 billion cubic meters in capacity. The Turk Stream, the flow of the segment in Bulgaria, has only 15.75 BCM. The problem with securing the legal and regulatory base for entering the EU market through Bulgaria remains unresolved, and the heat is on the Bulgarian Prime Minister. He did not look precisely overjoyed attending the ceremony. The problem with the US, uh, US sanctions still hovers in the air, and the last-minute cancellation of Deputy Secretary of State David Hale's visit today to Bulgaria sends a message. The exciting part of the story is that gas from the Turk stream entering Kirkjoy in Turkey first went north, entered Bulgaria, and only then, starting today, started entering Turkey uh, on Bartosz, uh, accommodated it. The Turkish national gas company Bartosz, starting even, uh, namely, they're taking gas from Kirkjoy today. The interesting part also is two or three days before that happened, gas went into Bulgaria and then went to Greece and Macedonia. The reason being that Bartosz and Gazprom were hectically trying to reach an agreement and the supply contract was reached yesterday. The price for Bartosz for gas is fixed for the whole year and is in the range of 225 to 223 30 per TCM, fixed for the whole year, as I said, which seems high. The take or pay levels remain at 80% intact, which <coughs> I'm sure the Bottas guys are not particularly happy, uh, because this is a critical clause. The price for Bulgar gas at the same time is even higher. It's above 235 TCM. And again, the take or pay clause remained at 80%. The transit game, with the lavish promises of hundreds of millions of dollars in transit that Gazprom plays, has to be accommodated, that the, the, the argument goes, in the whole uh, <coughs> picture of, uh, of uh, transit fees that Moscow or Gazprom pays to uh, Bulgarian and Turkish companies. The problem remains, however, compliance with EU gas directive. At present, <coughs> the gas flows via the interconnector between Bulgaria and Turkey are at a modus level of 20 million cubic meters per day, which, as I said, half of it returns uh, via Strangia 1 to Turkey. <coughs> the moment, however, these daily flows reach 45, 50 million cubic meters per day and virtually block everyone else's access to Serbia or other critical uh, parts of the Bulgarian transit system, then the European Commission will intervene and will block the flows. Furthermore, these high to take or pay levels for Bartosz and the abundance of cheaper gas from Azerbaijan and LNG will create surpluses of gas in the Turkish domestic market that would naturally seek exits, and Bulgaria seems a natural choice, but only provided that gas prices in Bulgaria remain higher than those in Turkey. Borisov has opted to join Putin and Erdogan in securing the market share of Gazprom, ignoring alternative options and alternative routes going against the mainstream EU gas policies. Let me remind you that uh, the Turkish stream is not a priority project for EU, and the European Commission has explicitly stated that any risk associated with this project has to be uh, <coughs> borne by Bulgaria and the Prime Minister himself. So there's a rising cost to this policy line that uh, Prime Minister Borisov is pursuing, and it would come soon.